City Council for this proclamation and for your unwavering committed, commitment to fostering a city where every individual is valued and respected. As you can see, Ramadan holds a special place in the hearts of Muslim Americans, and its observance is deeply rooted in our cultural and religious heritage. It's a time of reflection, self-discipline, and communal unity. It is a time where our children connect with their heritage and traditions while finding new ways to carry these traditions forward into the future. As I was growing up here in the Bay Area, our Ramadans were observed privately, and no one at school or in my neighborhood really knew about what was such a special time for me. So I'm proud to see that not only are our traditions being recognized by the city, but we're able to freely share who we are and be holy who we are as Dublin Muslims within our larger community. In the multicultural tapestry of America, Ramadan serves as a beacon of diversity and inclusion. Muslim Americans come, come from all walks of life. We're proud of two years of a tradition that includes the bravery of Muhammad Ali, the literary works of Sabah Tahir, and legal the acumen of Keith Ellison in bringing justice for George Floyd. It is these examples of service leadership that we extol for the richness of our tradition and the universality of our values. So we invite you to share in the spirit of Dublin um, with us in the Dublin Muslim Community Organization. We'll be hosting an Eagle Fither celebration, and we'd like to invite all of you to join us. As we embark on this Ramadan, let us embrace the cultural significance of this journey as a time of renewal gratitude and connection. And let us build bridges of understanding and friendship enriching our collective experience as residents of this wonderful city. May this Ramadan bring peace, blessings, and fulfillment for all. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you to the three ladies that came out this evening, and the reason why is because it's your voices that make a difference. And I know Seema has been extremely involved here in our community of Dublin, also with the schools, and and just making sure that you keep your voices being heard. I know the library; I have reached out to them with regards to they were already uh, going to display a book, so I'm glad that you were able to connect with them and, and make it a little bit bigger. So, um, this is the proclamation of the city council to. Um, Ramadan, whereas Islam is one of the world's major religions and part of our shared human heritage, and whereas the Dublin Muslim community is one of the most diverse with ethnic and cultural backgrounds that span the globe, and whereas Muslims have contributed to social movements throughout the history of the United States to work together and also towards justice, civil rights, and fair inclusion for all. And the Muslim residents of this city, which their land, their hard work, and contributions to medicine, science, information, technology, education, law enforcement, military, and many other fields have been benefited from the rich Dublin's open, tolerant, and economically vibrant environmental environment. And Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim lunar calendar year and the annual holy month of fasting to again to gain discipline self-restraint, and greater incentive to good and avoid wrong. Now, therefore, we have resolved the city of Dublin does hereby acknowledge the onset of Ramadan at dusk on March 10, 2024, and expresses its deepest respect to Muslims across our city and throughout the world on this significant occasion. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Council members, uh, Mayor Hernandez, um, distinguished guests, fellow community members, uh, we are deeply honored to accept this proclamation on behalf of the Muslim community here in Dublin. On behalf of all Muslims, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to the City Council for this recognition of the sacred place of Ramadan and our community's contributions to the rich tapestry of the city. This proclamation not merely is a symbolic gesture, it embodies the inclusive spirit of Dublin and its commitment of embracing diversity. As we embark on the month of Ramadan, a time of spiritual reflection and communal solidarity, your acknowledgement reaffirms our sense of belonging and strengthens our bonds of unity within the city. Your support and partnership is truly valued and appreciated by us all. Thank you. Again.
Ramadan is a time when people come together to break fast, share meals, strengthen bonds of friendship, community, and family. Through acts of charity and service, we reaffirm our commitment and calling to show compassion and empathy for those less fortunate in our communities. This Ramadan, we plan to host a series of events citywide. Our community outreach efforts are underway, and we've already collaborated with the Dublin Library, where not only are there displays and books related to Ramadan and Muslims ready for viewing, but we've also invite you and your families uh, to two specific events at the Dublin Library. One on Wednesday, March 6th, tomorrow, and the other on Monday, March 11th, where Hina Khan Mukhtar, a local Muslim educator, storyteller, and writer, writer will engage our young, younger residents and their families in an interactive hour after school to learn about and share in the rich traditions and practices related to Ramadan. As we engage in fasting prayer this month, we are encouraged to reflect on the principles of empathy and understanding that unite us all. We are particularly sensitive to those who are suffering from food insecurity and hunger. <laughs> Dublin City Council, your cooperation and support have even mobilized our youth uh, to lead efforts in the city of Dublin. And with this, I will ask a few of the youth to just speak for a couple of minutes. They are called Heroes of Hunger. Heroes for Hunger, sorry. <clears throat> My name is Zan Kajani, and I am the founder of Heroes for Hunger. We are a group of seven of seven youth members, but only but only us three are representing uh, the organization today. Um, hello, uh, I am Amari Ma, seventh grade. Uh, so, uh, hello, Ma Ma is Wasi, and I'm thirteen years old. Okay, in coalition with the Alameda County Community Food Bank, Heroes for Hunger has formed a Ramadan food drive that will last all 30 days of Ramadan. As many of you may know, Muslims around the world uh, fast during the month of Ramadan. This leaves us with a heightened sense of empathy and understanding. So while we are fasting, Heroes for Hunger has vowed to make sure nobody goes hungry in the city of Dublin. Many of you may think no, nobody's hungry in Dublin, but we spoke to the Alameda County Community Food Bank and they told us that just last year in 2023, they gave 209,000 pounds of food to, to uh, people suffering with food insecurity in Dublin. There is a need and we have a goal. Only with your support can we stamp out hunger in our city of Dublin. You can help out by dropping off cans at designated, at, um, designated participating schools. Um, you can donate a dollar. To feed somebody, or to feed somebody for one day, or thirty dollars to feed somebody for all of Ramadan. Dublin, this is your time to step up. Number one, to, to number one, to, to fulfill the need, to build the need within our community. Number two, yeah, you could donate us or sponsor us. Even just spreading the word, anything you can do is appreciated more than we can articulate. With that. Um, we're, we're, we're passing a flyer out, and before any of you guys leave, please, please help us kick off our campaign. Finally, um, may, uh, finally, Mayor Hernandez and esteemed council members will come by and give you all a few, uh, a few gifts. Thank you. doing so much more than when I was younger and it's just so great to see them. But so did you guys have a food drive last year as well? Uh, no, 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 first, okay. So this is your first year. Okay. Good okay. <laughs> luck to you. And you'll have to give us the results and let us know um, how much you collect and so on. But thank you so much for coming um, this evening. Thank you. Um, thanks again.